Hi, my name is Sarah Duong. I am a solutions consultant with Concentris. I want to show you today how to manage duplicate entity records in NetSuite. Entity records are customer, vendor, partners, and contacts. And over time, with many user inputs, there's bound to be duplicate entries. Regular checks will help you keep your data clean and up to date. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up the management duplication. So go to Setup, Company, scroll all the way down to Company Management, and there's Duplicate Detection. Here in this first page, you can select which entities you want to manage duplicates for. Customers, vendors, partners, or contacts. Then within each entity, you're able to determine how you're going to detect if it's a duplicate or not. At the minimum, you want to select email, and um, typically people add first and last name. Keep it to kind of, you know, one or two options here. There's also, when you select email, you can uh, select to detect on the full email, which would be sarah.duong at concentris.com, or you can select only the domain, which would be the at concentris.com part. If you select a domain, you can go to excluded domains, and here are the ones where you can exclude, for instance, anyone with a Gmail account, you can automatically exclude where it will not detect it as a duplicate at that point. Under other preferences, you can show uh, the pop-up, whether or not to have a pop-up warning message, and it will show up like this. There will be a warning message on top of the record, And you can also resolve duplicates with conflicting login access. So if you have two records with the same login access, you can manually manage those or change those, or the system can automatically delete the duplicates access. Okay. So after you determine your criteria, we are going to go and manage the duplicates. So go to list under mass updates, there is Entity Duplicate Resolution. Click on that. And it's going to pop up this page. So this page will show all the duplicates detected by the system based on the parameters you just set. How this is, is um, it will group by the ones they think are the same duplicates. So in this instance, Group 1 has two duplicate en entities or records. Um, for the same entity. And as you'll see here, you can um, manage what kind of columns or information show up here to help you determine which one is the master, which one's a duplicate, or which one's not a duplicate. I want to point attention down here under fields. Um, the fields tell you the number of fields populated within that record. So you can tell which record actually has the most information. So now I'm going to mark this one master and this one as a duplicate. And I'm going to show you real quick um, the two records right here. So you'll see that they pop up as a duplicate. And this one is the other one that pops up as a duplicate. And they all have the same email address. OK. Um, OK. So the next thing is you click filters, and it will drop down merge type. Merge type tells the system what to do with all the records. So you'll see here a long list. I'm going to choose Merge Duplicate into Master Record. Now you can go to Sweet Answers under Submitting Merge Operations. Down here is a table with all the options for merge types, and it'll explain what happens uh, for each selection. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mark my master and my duplicates and hit Submit Selected. Click OK, and you'll see that it's processing. Let me refresh. Let me refresh again. Okay. 
So the records have been removed and merged based on my criteria. And if I refreshed, this should be the master record. Okay, the duplicate entry is gone. This is a duplicate record. And when I refresh, the record should no longer be there. Okay, so that is how we manage duplicate records. One other tip before I let you go is in your um, CSV imports, to make sure when you're under import options, go to advanced options, particularly when you're adding to select also the prevent duplicate records. This will prevent duplicate records from being created with your mass upload or your CSV upload uh, based on the criteria you set in your uh, set pre setup preferences. Okay, thank you for joining me on today's video. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any one of the consultants at Concentris.com.